God bless you and welcome to Talk Straight Bible. I'm your host, Jeremiah Santonetti, and we're looking into the Word of God as usual. Here at Talk Straight Bible, we only want to do one thing, and that's talk straight about the Bible. If I'm going to walk straight in life, then I better have a straight rod. And the Bible tells us that here, that the Word of God is righteous, and notice that the word canalization Canalization is a very important word because it means to put something together, but actually the word canon and canalization comes from a word that means a straight rod. And it's interesting that God has given us this book as a straight rod for a crooked life. <laughs> How do we become straight? We walk straight by walking the straight word of God. Okay, now we're looking at Hebrews chapter 3, verse 1, and it's partakers of the heavenly calling. And it says here in Hebrews chapter 3, verse 1, For this reason, holy brethren, called to be partakers of a heavenly calling, consider the apostle and high priest of our confession, Messiah Yeshua, or Yeshua the Messiah, of Jesus the Christ. Now notice that the apostle here tells us, oh, let me just say that some believe that Paul wrote the book of Hebrews. Nobody really knows, but they say that Paul did. But for the sake of just the book of Hebrews tells us that it is a heavenly calling, not a worldly calling. It is a spiritual calling, not a physical calling. Although we respond to God in the physical, we come to him physically in the body but our hearts, the spiritual heart, is what has to be transformed. Even if you could not come to a place physically, your spiritual heart needs to be transformed, born again. And once the Spirit of the Lord comes into your spiritual heart, that is the man or the person that you are, remember that we are spirit. A spirit cannot be touched but yet we are spirit. We have a soul and we live in a body. And this is just old teachings. But the Bible tells us that the word of God is alive and active and it pierces to the dividing of soul and spirit, bone and marrow. So the word of God teaches us that we are spirit. We possess a soul or we are a living soul, the Bible tells us, and we have a body. But the calling is heavenly, and therefore, we have to set our sights on heavenly things. Now, how do we do that? How do we know what is heavenly versus that which is carnal? You know, many times we come in contact with people in the world, and they give us new words, or they teach us new phrases, or they teach us new concepts of the world that we receive as spiritual, and we have to be careful about that. Here's one that I ran into, which um, is kind of interesting because I hear it a lot and I see it a lot in Christianity. Have you ever heard the term diva or devo? Like to say, well, that person is a diva. Well, let me give you the definition of a diva. Now, watch this now. Uh -oh. My wife said, oh, oh. Now, I didn't plan this, but I believe the Holy Spirit dropped this in my heart to begin to teach people the difference between that which is spiritual versus carnality. Now, you've heard the term diva. What is a diva? Now, let me look at what we consider a diva today. A diva is a celebrated female singer a woman of outstanding talent in the world, such as an opera singer, prima donna, and by extension in a theater, a cinema, popular music, the meaning of diva is closely related of that or to that of you know, a prima donna. Diva can also refer to a woman, especially as a show business woman, with a reputation for being temporal, demanding, and difficult to work with. Watch this. What's wrong with all of that? The problem is that we have a definition of the word, and this is in the 19th century. Let's go to the beginning of it. Let's look at what the word really means. 
The word entered the English language in the 19th century. It Notice, 19th century. It is derived from the Italian noun diva, a female deity. The plural of the world in English is divas, in the Italian, diva. The basic sense of the term is goddess. The, female, the, the feminine of the Latin word divas, Italian divo, someone def watch this, someone defied after death, or in the Latin, a god. You see, we're introduced to the word we take the first meaning of the word, we say there's nothing wrong with that without going to the root. If our calling is heavenly, then we must understand the root of our heavenly calling. It did not come from any man. It did not come from any subject in the world. The Bible says, consider him who is the high priest, the apostle and high priest of our confession. Now, what is an apostle? Well, an emissary, really an apostle, is a word that represents a person such as um, um, a general who has a fleet of ships and they assign this general or uh, a person who is high rank in sailing and he takes these fleets and he goes to a distant land and he, and he, and he introduces the way of the system, okay, meaning if, if it's Rome, if it's Rome, it's Rome, if it's, you know, uh, the Greeks, is the Greeks. But here is a person that goes with a, a fleet of people and they pave a way to a society that never known uh, how to be refined. So they teach them their ways. The apostle of, of our, how, listen, the apostle of our faith came from heaven, the Bible says, that he left the riches of heaven to come here and to be an apostle for us, to teach us the way how to be refined in the spirit, not in the physical. So our heavenly calling is connected to the apostle and our high priest who is in heaven. Remember, he is the high priest because he sacrificed himself for us. He became the sacrifice. He did not have to... Pre uh, present a sacrifice to God for himself, but he became the sacrifice. And we are now connected to the root of that heavenly calling. The Bible tells us in 1 Peter chapter 3, it says, For so once, indeed, the holy women who were hoping in God adorned themselves, submitting themselves to their own husbands. What does that tell us? As the body of Christ, we are adorned with the heavenly Jewelry, if I would say, the, the heavenly beauty of God, which comes from Jesus Christ, our Lord. Now watch this now. In 1 Peter chapter 2, verse 9, it tells us, But you are an elect race, a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a peculiar people, God's possession, so that we may openly speak of the virtues of the one who has called us, out of darkness into his marvelous light. And so watch this. If we are part of that heavenly calling, what is the root? Folks, the spirit of diva, the spirit of devo, however you want to put it. We have to be careful that we are not seduced by the terms of the world that try to teach us something of a worldly principle that has, listen, that, it, that, that has nothing to do with spiritual value. And so I've seen many people post up their pictures because they're divas and devos who want to truly, watch, watch this, they say that this is the way of the new way. Matter of fact, I just went to a certain place uh, with my wife and they termed this woman a diva. Be very careful what you term yourself. A diva is a goddess. That's the root word. Now we may say, well, um, words are interchangeable and we can use it to go to the root. If the root is holy, the whole tree is holy. If the root is unholy, the whole tree is unholy. And notice how the enemy takes something from the root that no, listen, he knows is evil. And he takes it and he introduces it to a society 
and he melts it down so that it can fit the society and watch this by doing so the principles of that root that is corrupt begins to be injected into our system and we accept it as okay folks if our heavenly calling is connected to spiritual blessings how do we take a spiritual blessing that we cannot touch and make it manifest or bring it to manifestation or ask God to manifest it in our physical life. I asked my wife that this morning and she said, by walking according to the word. In other words, by doing that which God has called us to do before we were even born in the world, God ordained works for us to do because we are created in Christ Jesus. We are the workmanship of Christ, of God, created in Christ Jesus to do good works which he have already foreordained. He foreordained it. He already said what we were going to be and what we're going to do. As Jeremiah is in chapter 1, verse 5, be before you were in your mother's womb, I knew you and I sanctified you and I called you to be a prophet to the nations. Look at Galatians chapter 1, verse 15 and 16. For Paul says, while I was in my mother's womb, he says, God sanctified me, set me apart to preach the gospel, to reveal Jesus Christ to the world. That's what you're called to do. The heavenly is holy. The root of that heavenly calling is Christ. The Holy Spirit has been given to us so that we might fulfill the calling to which God has called us. You are not divas and devos. You are sons and daughters of God watch the corruption of the world that it does not subduce you, that, that, that it does not sub, um, seduce you into thinking something that you should be when Christ says do not be that be this God had to deal with Moses because Moses although he was in the desert for 40 years taking care of Jethro's sheep when he met God on the, in, in the, on, on the holy mountain in front of that burning bush God asked him, what is that in your hand? And he told him it was, a, it was a rod. But God had to deal with him. And he turned that rod and said, now go back to Egypt where you came from, that I may destroy the power and the influence of Egypt from my people and deliver them out of Egypt. And we know that was a, a difficult task to do, but he did it. And even when they came out of Egypt, hello, we just talked about this, I believe on Friday, that they came to the promised land, but they did not enter in. And this is the whole term here. Though you can take people out of Egypt, it doesn't necessarily mean that you can take Egypt out of the people. We must grow up into the head, which is Christ, by the knowledge of God. God bless you. Have a wonderful, spiritual day. Remember, cast off the diva and the devil and put on Christ your righteousness. Amen.